Hello, Sean Kelly here with Fred Haas Toyota Country on Highway 249. And uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the new Toyota Camry. Uh, so in 2018, the engines were redesigned and they get 40 miles to the gallon on the highway and 30 miles to the gallon in the city. Uh, but they were also not only able to improve gas mileage, but improve horsepower. The new four cylinder engine has 206 horsepower, which is more horsepower than the old V6 had, which is 199. So now you have a Camry that gets better gas mileage and more horsepower all in one. Um, and just to talk a little bit about it, this particular model of trim level right here is an LE. Um, it's the second up trim level that the Camry makes. And then uh, in just a minute, we'll talk about the SE as well. They're the two most popular trim levels that are sold in the Camry. Um, so the LE, you do get rims, and they're, they're loaded with equipment, even for being only the second trim level up. Uh, so you get the alloy rims, you get power windows, power locks, power mirrors, driver power seat. Uh, but with, where Toyota really makes a difference is you don't have to go up in trim levels to get safety features. Toyota is all about safety features. Uh, so you do get uh, rear view camera, um, which has been standard in Toyota since 2015. Uh, but you also get what's called Toyota Safety Sense, which is four safety features, and that is gonna be automatic high beams, which if you're going down a dark road, uh, you got your high beams on, sometimes you forget to dim them when somebody's coming and you blind them and they honk at you, and it's a big mess. So uh, the automatic high beams will automatically go down till that vehicle passes you, and then it'll uh, kick back up on its own. You don't have to touch anything. So you don't have to worry about blinding other drivers when you're on those dark country roads. Uh, also, you're going to get uh, adaptive cruise control, where once you have the cruise control set, let's say you're going 70, you're going the speed limit on the interstate, you come up to somebody that's going 60 and you can't get around them, this vehicle will match the speed of the vehicle in front of you so you don't have to hit the brake, disengage the cruise control, wait to get around them, and then reset the cruise control. What it's, what it's going to do is match the speed of the vehicle in front of you until you can get around them. Once your lane is clear on the uh, on the lane that you're in, it'll resume the rate of speed you originally had it set at, which would be 70. Um, also, you get uh, lane assist, which will help keep you in your lane. Um, what it does, the vehicle picks up the lines in the road, so that way it helps keep you center in your lane so you're not uh, drifting over into someone else's lane. Now, when your blinker is on, it does not activate because it does know that you are uh, trying to get into one lane or the other. Uh, so these vehicles are very, very smart. And then the last uh, safety feature that's part of Toyota Safety Sense is pre-collision detection. So of course we've always had that instance where someone slammed on the brakes uh, in front of us and we plowed right into the back of them because we weren't expecting it. Uh, this vehicle is going to detect when someone slams on the brakes and start to slow you down if you haven't started to slow yourself down within a certain distance. So uh, basically how all that works is I don't know if you can get a good shot of this, but there's a uh, plastic piece right here. And then there's an eye in the front of it. That eye shoots a laser out in front of the vehicle. And it's basically a grid. It can see everything in front of it. Um, so these vehicles are very, very smart. Uh, almost as smart as smartphones these days. Of course, you do have your Bluetooth technology for hands-free calling. And then you also have voice recognition. Once your cell phone is paired and all your contacts are downloaded uh, into the uh, into the car, you can hit this button, and however you have that contact saved in your phone, you can say call that person, and it'll make the phone call for you without ever taking your phone out of your pocket. Um, it is a four-door sedan, uh, so you've got plenty of room for kids. It can be a family vehicle. Uh, it's great for putting miles on it. I'm actually on my eighth Camry that I personally have owned and I've enjoyed every single one of them for a couple of reasons. Uh, reliability, you can put a ton of miles on them, just make sure you get your regular scheduled maintenance. And uh, also gas mileage. The gas mileage has always been good, except now it's even better with the new redesigned four cylinder. And then uh, something else that I always find important is trunk space. Whenever you're going on vacation, you wanna make sure you have enough space for uh, suitcases and bags and things like that. So you can definitely see four or five adults comfortably. On top of that, you can fit several bags in here as well. Your back seats, you fold down, you just pull these levers. It's a, what they call a 60-40 split. 60% of the seat it will fold down by pushing this lever. 
40% of the back seat will fold down by pushing this lever. Uh, so for those longer objects, fishing poles, things like that, uh, you can actually create a hole right here and stick it all the way through. Then you have the length of the car to, uh, to put longer objects in. Um, and then you do have this as well. This is a trunk release. Um, in case if the kids want to play hide and seek, one of them gets the great idea of hiding in the trunk. They can actually release themselves out of there so they don't, uh, they don't get uh, suffocated. Um, you have reinforced steel on each of the doors and the sides. So that way for side impact, you have extra support. Um, you also have front and back crumple zones. What that does is in the event of a front or rear impact, the car is going to crumple. Uh, it's designed to do so. It creates a little more damage, but what it does is it absorbs the shock, so your neck and back do not. Uh, also, it helps slow down whatever object you are hitting by actually crumbling, uh, so that way it doesn't make its way into the cabin. Um, on top of that, you have what's called breakaway motor mounts. And what that is, it's uh, mounts that, are, that, are, that hold the engine up in the event of a head-on collision engine would drop to the ground and come up underneath the vehicle instead of getting pushed onto you and your passenger's lap. Um, so these vehicles are designed to be extremely safe. And uh, Mitch, if you could get a close-up on these, these are your actual crumple zones right here. So what it is is it's weakened parts of the hood. It's structurally made to be weaker so that it does crumple uh, instead of this going through the windshield and hitting you and your passenger in the face. That would not be uh, very good. So um, so these vehicles have been designed uh, to be extremely safe, extremely, extremely reliable. You really can't go wrong with a Camry. Um, if Toyota's been producing Camrys for decades and they just make them better and better and better every year. So this is the LE model. The SE is gonna be very similar, all the same safety features. The biggest difference is going to be the look, uh, not so much the equipment. Now, one thing that you do get on the interior of an SE that you do not get on the LE, and that's going to be leather seats with cloth inserts. So you have cloth on the back and cloth on the seating area, but you have leather trim all the way around, and that's for the front and the rear seats. Also, with the SE Camry, uh, to give it a sportier look, you do have aluminum alloy wheels that are high polished with black painted pockets. Um, you also get a spoiler. Uh, you get uh, the uh, double exhaust pipe, which you only get one on the LE. And then you get pockets right here, uh, which help give it a little bit of a sportier design. And then also in the front, have the honeycomb grill versus the straight lines on the LE. And that's going to be the biggest differences between the SE and the LE. Both great cars. Uh, both will definitely get you where you need to go. Also with Toyota, you do have your two years uh, free maintenance, two years, 25,000 miles, three year, 36 bumper to bumper warranty, five year, 60,000 mile powertrain. And what's new um, since 2020 or 2019, I'm sorry, is uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, um, where you don't necessarily have to have navigation. You can plug up your phone, pull the maps up on the screen, on the radio. And then also one thing I forgot to mention, uh, which is another safety feature, which started in 2018, is what's called Safety Connect. And if you see right here, if you can get a good shot of that, it's an SOS button, and that's exactly what it's for, is save our Sean. Uh, so, no, just kidding, SOS. Um, so, basically what it does is if you are in an accident, this will automatically alert emergency personnel to your location, because within that accident, you could have hit your head, you could be unconscious, you could be trapped, and you can't reach it, so that's why it automatically alerts emergency personnel. Um, and also, if you get a flat tire, uh, if you run out of gas, if your battery is dead, you can also hit the SOS button and it will help some, have someone come and uh, assist you with whatever need that you have, wherever you're stranded at. Uh, it's uh, very similar to OnStar, uh, that's a General Motors product, um, but Toyota does give it to you for free for the first year, and uh, it's a monthly subscription after that, but I'm sure after having it for a year, 
you would definitely want to um, want to keep it. Um, also, your roadside assistance is free for two years and unlimited miles. Um, so Toyota definitely wants to uh, make sure that you and your family are safe. And in the event of a need, that they have the uh, support system to help come and uh, assist you and get you back on the road. So uh, that's all I have for the uh, Camrys. Definitely great vehicles. And uh, once again, this is Sean Kelly with Fred Haas Toyota Country on Highway 249. And the phone number here is 281-357-4000. All right, in case if you guys want to uh, deal with me personally, I'd be happy to help with any of, uh, any of the models that you uh, would require some information on or you're ready to come test drive or if you're ready to purchase let me know i'll make you a great deal uh you can reach me on my direct line at 281-374-5166